I once had it all. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing, but I'm back. Taking what's mine. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. Huh? Whole lighthouse is at your disposal. My ass! I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Love you. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. now, it is very specific on the timeline. Uh, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for.
Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? All of these things. I was just looking around and it's... certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. <sighs> well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. 
I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, oh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, Get some sleep, you big dummy. and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of his harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, There's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, Yes. We caught up with the star. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events.
Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tonight it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You... I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Two souls, so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life, betrayal of everything that made them both artists, and yet they clung to it. No, this is private. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. Stop. 
understand what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. Just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in. I believe in you. Place just wasn't enough to warm this room. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie.
This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. For a family? Or just for you? Go on. Tip the scales. The green of her eyes. The red of my paint. Prosthesis snatchers. Insatiable bastards. Can't afford a new one. Why the damn leg? The most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for. I think we should drop the Dakota here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. I have a new set. Less flashy this time. You were right. It works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted. Two people, who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please, 
considered that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... Responsibility. Finish it. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. Bird. 
First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Desire, despair, or hate. I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Push me away. This is my house. You can't keep locking me in. You're so afraid of fire. How can you cut off the means of escape? All I asked for was an edible meal. At least one that had any taste at all. Suddenly everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard. Calculations he has for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that.
Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? You always wanted to have a huge guard. Green calmed your nerves. You Is this the right door for me? Finish it!
Since my last letter, things only got worse. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. But these people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. in here. I swear if I'm interrupted one more time. I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot.
good, solid undercoat. A primer will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. Cleaning this house is a nightmare. We don't even use the fireplace that often and ash is everywhere. Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous.
I can't escape too. I can put it between the books. You'll never find it there. through ashes. Such determination. Such blindness. say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have been their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require more strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. This family won't work if you keep 
undermining me. It will break apart. It's all your fault. Doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family. This was the only instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept. This light is still light. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Insane with those candles. You will burn. We have electricity. Oh, 
We've lived without electricity for thousands of years. I Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe?
all changed when the daughter was born. Well, the reward for the most cliche line goes to me. So, I'm here. For a place belonging to a posh-ass agency, this is weird. If they wanted to have a decor that corresponds with story, they succeeded. It's dark, there are rats, and it's weird paintings. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I felt like it was some fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I'm working soon after I entered. <laughs> I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing. But it turned out that it were only rats. I think. I thought I saw later. I called to let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. I have your truth. What the fuck? <sighs> um, hello? Oh, thank God. It's me. Mama? Did something happen? I don't know. I don't feel good. I don't like this place. What do you mean you don't feel good? Do you need a doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful, and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise. Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How? How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. And now, with my help, it's possible. Do you choose to use it? Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then, it is done. Hello? Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? What do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that? That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... 
I'm good, son. It's as you said. I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. He tried to pull himself together. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Daddy's here. Sometimes you must be in the dark to see. be herself. Even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. As for your question, my sister tells me that Anne Blackwood is an extraordinary childminder. From what I saw, she deserves such praise.
I will bring you back. Drag if I have I to. I will make it right, honey. I promise. I will make you right. I had to move most of the dolls out of her room. It was getting ridiculous. You can't just throw gifts at her whenever you feel guilty for whatever it is you feel guilty for. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. Stand to win. Time for you to choose a side. <laughs> what? What's so funny? You beat my little bird loved this game. I need some peace and quiet to work. Is that too much to ask? This house is not a playground! Your child is barely two years old. It's absolutely normal that she doesn't talk yet. It's not the nanny's fault, and no, stimulating your daughter's mind by reading her Nietzsche is not a good idea. For God's sake.
You like it, my little bird? Okay, we'll buy it. It will look great on the fireplace, don't you think, honey? I know she adores that toy, but I don't know. Something about it is very unsettling. Maybe it's the way she plays with it. She's not a happy child. It shows sometimes when she plays. It breaks my heart to see it. as soft as a child's hair. express herself.
Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of a once famous painter and a recent widower. Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work!
This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. He simply wasn't enough. He comes to me at the bottom of the bottle. The horned master of cubism. We drink to the fall of reality. Till the shapes sharpen, and I cut myself on the rectangular, infinitely straight edges of my glass. And he retreats to his nest in the iris of my left eye. It's hopeless. I... I just can't take it anymore. I might as well try to paint with both of my arms broken. Art is beauty, writes. A painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is, or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time. It's about feeling, with all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt. Everything I do, I do to stop thinking. To stop the questions. Is this really the house I know? Where am I? What? What is behind that door? What is behind me? The questions are worse than anything that can actually happen. Screech! 
Shrieking arsonists. Echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, his paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone. Malcontents. Why are you doing this to me?
Oil's texture is everything. You'll love it. I don't doubt it. And so our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration. Hates it. I have to make it perfect. Oh, that's a good question, Peter. In fact, that is a very common misconception. Some people think it's just about putting paint on canvas, but they're wrong. I believe that every detail must exist in the mind of the artist before the first stroke is made. The process itself is more about following these preconceived steps rather than just going crazy with the brush. Personally, I have always perceived it as a ritual. A ritual? Sounds ominous. Not necessarily, <laughs> though I will admit it carries a certain risk in order to create. The artist must first deconstruct himself, figuratively speaking, of course. If the artist succeeds, what most people see as mere tools of the trade will become the implements of his ascension. Holy artifacts. I wouldn't go that far. Art is often quite beautiful, but the process behind it, rarely so. I need to start practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music. Devouring my foot, afraid to walk. Chop, chop! Finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you.
where. Art is not about watching. It's about feeling. With all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt.
You deserve this. All of it. All of it. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing a leg. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? In the end, what he needed was a sharp focus. He had to finish it. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts. No more rambling. Uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though. Home sweet home. Dear utterly despised traitor. Come. You turned on me in time of need. We'll worry about it later. Now you have your prize. Watch our demise. One last spectacle by a half-dead couple. A feast for your ears and eyes. Auditorium is Why would I need that? Are you insane? Just finish it. Nothing will stop me from finishing it. Finish. 
Just a little bit more and it will be finished. finished. Find it in yourself and finish it. Finish. It. finish. 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 Finish it, there is no other way. You mind explaining this to me? I know what it is. Care to tell me how it got in my workshop? Stop lying! We both know it couldn't have gotten there on its own. Right! Just one more can and be ready. Look at you! Who's a dead boy? Who's a dead boy? You are! To see it, it won't be finished until you see it. To create is to reach into chaos, and chaos is darkness. Warm, soft, swarming. He understood it in the end. Will you? What music should we choose for the exhibition? A waltz? A march? I shouldn't try to contain my art in the workshop. The world is my canvas. The work is never finished.
see the way she looks at me. Are you sure you'll finish this commission, she asks. Doubt in her eyes. Sometimes I just want to. upon us. To find greatness, to find me, you must embrace chaos. Answer me! I need something, anything, anything. Some old notes will suffice. I know you're dead, but we both know you're not really gone. Without you, it won't be finished! <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The horror ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Feel it, can't you? Why won't you help me? You are a monster. Embrace it. You're mine. Vermin growth, cancer of the house. Oh, foul stench. <gasps> you know, even though you are my rival and the source. Of all my sorrows, you're also the only one I can still talk to. The only one who will listen. I'm not sure if it's funny or merely pathetic. <laughs> Probably both. Haunting Nimix. No. No, no. Not gonna let them in. Only clothes left behind. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's mess. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that! Oh God. I'm so... wait. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I think I should be happy. Why am I not happy? I have a beautiful daughter. I think she is. I know she is. So why can't I look at her without feeling sick? I used to have a loving husband. Wonderful. Sensitive. Now, all I see is this strange man who only cares about his paintings. Like they matter at all. It's all so pointless. Music used to help. Doesn't anymore.
What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 What have you done? No! I finally figured it out. And it's all thanks to you. You've showed me that there's no other way to go. Your sad smile confirms what should have been obvious. We will not speak again. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it, scooped it up like ice cream, felt like a butcher, a monster. At least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. I tried to do my best. I tried! I did! <laughs> I tried to cope. I tried to be there for you both. How was I supposed to do it without you? Where are you going? Fighting the helplessness and losing and losing. Take it back. It doesn't matter. But we were happy for a while. Couldn't 
last. We had it. A short, sweet time together. I could have done it. We could have been happy. You can't remember. It was like a curse. Primal. Angry. Blind. Ever since the accident. Devoured by forces out of our control. That's it! <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. What? What is this? Uh, I don't understand. No. Stop it. Please! Close. This time, I almost had it. I believe in the end, he knew that one can't make art, a true art, without cracks, without breaks, and without pain. Uh, I don't know what happened. I struggled with the part where daughter enters the scene. Too close to home? No, it's this place, this fucking island, this lighthouse. I was afraid and called. The generator died. I went to restart it. I know it happened. And then, maybe I was high? Or I actually saw my muse and had a conversation with her. Called later. But I didn't have time for it. I knew what to write. The block was gone. I knew how to finish this book.
it's always good to hear from one of our writers. Bring him back! I'm afraid it's, it's not possible at the moment. You know where I'm at, sad man? I'm at your precious lighthouse! Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me! I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words! I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings! I will destroy her. I will get him back! I will write my own story! Thought you got me? Well, guess what? I can write without you. I always could. Let's get this over with! Why are we here? They asked. Although they already knew. To build the character. To act. 
That was what they did for all of their lives. They did it for love. Did it because of a burning passion, a flame within them that wanted to be set free. And above all, they did it to run, to forget, to be anyone else, everyone else. To keep the one story that mattered, the one that really happened, unused and intact, a secret. They couldn't even recall it now. They would though, walking the corridors of this strange ship and the ship from their past, remembering their first characters and why they played them, remembering the borrowed bravery of the pirate crew, finding out who they were before they learned to put on all the masks. In their time, they played the parts of many men, observed others and were observed, wore the characters as if they were second skins, layers upon layers of people who wore their face. Now it was time to shed these skins, to meet themselves again, to remember, to choose. Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Third class passengers this way, please. 
Did you check the lower decks this time? I swear to God, if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. He's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? 
kill you? Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. Lily, I, I'm... That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank.
I'm back, Mahardi. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. She is, Mr. Hardy, the fastest vessel ever built, ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard, quietly. Mr. Hardy, too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. In the spotlight, they were safe. Their world controlled and understandable.
in the land we've seen behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies, there we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother.
obedience. It's something you should learn. Mr. Hardy, this chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. You shouldn't play with strangers. She wouldn't like that. She doesn't like it when you play with anyone but her. Self. will do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I, I'm scared. You should be scared. 
You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. you. Now, they knew a part of the answer to the director's question, before the world told them what to be. They were stowaways, hidden deep in the entrails of the beast that was the ship. They hid and fought for survival, losing more and more of themselves. Now they had to descend again into the entrails of the beast that was their own mind what they lost. It was still there, buried, hidden away, locked in a vault. A prison of themselves. Deep down, there was only instinct. A need and an act. Hunger and violence. And was there also a choice? Do you remember hunger? Yeah, uh, could we take this again? Uh, <laughs> there's something wrong with the picture. I, I think you must have moved. You just don't look quite yourself. Sword, you're always 
Excuse me, I'm such a big fan. Could you please sign? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I mistook you for someone else. do for now. It's time to eat. Quartermaster, hand me the bag. Uh, Captain Baines, the food, uh, it's gone.
You are so delicious.
Get up, Quartermaster. What's done is done. No use crying. We need to venture forth and find some fresh supplies. Here, take this. It will help you find your strength.
Looks like the rats got to it before us. What, what was that? Shh. We're not alone here. something there. Look over there. Can't you see it? the world, Mr. Hardy. Nothing is as it seems.
This one's empty too. We need to keep looking. Lily, I mean, Captain, there's something out there. In the dark. Hush now. Stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you. Leave it, Mr. Hardy. We're not that desperate yet. James! I said leave it! Yes. <laughs> 
Your belly grows full. You take what's not yours. Your heart grows cold. You feed on misery. Your soul grows weak. I once saw this boy drown a baby rat in the gutter. Said it made him feel better. But that didn't make it all right. I think he was broken. No good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. Maybe there's some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run!
think you can survive without me? Watch out! Something's coming! You need to keep moving. Bloody roots. They had each other. You are alone. Perhaps he won't mind if we pick his brain a bit. Good 
morning, young man. What's your name? Good morning, young man. What's your... Good morning. morning. Good man. Your morning. What's your name? There was life before the ship. A reason for their escape. They didn't dare look back. But their past fueled them for years. They harnessed it without remembering. They transformed fear, anger, and despair into art. The art was called outstanding, haunting, unforgettable. But they did forget. They did their best to forget. And when they weren't looking, their past entangled them, bound them. Their roots suffocated them, pulled them under, away from the air and the light. They had to cut them away. Only then could they be truly free. doing here listen but how does it do that a sea can fit in there it's the spirit of the sea it captured its strength its calm its freedom so it can live on forever Come, faithful servant, for tonight we brew a ghoulish concoction, the world's strangest stew. Seasoned by sadness, Burnt from within, ravaged by madness, rotten with sin.
hollowed by longing, hardened by loss, once slick and polished, has lost all its gloss. Torn up by conflict, ravaged by war, flawed on the surface, warped to its core. Look at it bubble, look at it shake, the beast! It's awake! Look, Jimmy. Father's screening the Black Wanderer. Movie's almost over. Time to go. Scum. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. I give everything, and what do I get in return? I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. You have to find it. You have to take it back. That's all you've ever given me. That's all you were ever good for. I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. Keep her close to your heart. Don't let her be forgotten. She gave everything for you. Prove that it was worth it.
weak, useless, no good to anyone. It's like I was never there. It would have been better if I was never there. leaving the projection room soon. When the world becomes too cruel, we look for a place to hide. The dark can be many things. It can be refuge. Or it can be hell. It is whatever you make it. The dark can be a silent place. Silence can be empty. Or it can speak volumes. It is whatever you make it. The dark can be a lonely place. Solitude can be a sentence. you make it. Sometimes it's better to hide, to let the dark in. Oh. Father's coming! Quick! No, please! I said, get in! Started. Come on! He'll get mad if we're not back before him.
<laughs> what is that thing? I thought I knew, but now I'm not sure. Oh, Jimmy, it has to take shape in your head first. Otherwise, it'll just stay formless. You come in. my doom today, it will be by your hands, by your action. Don't do it. That's right. Don't hesitate. You know I wouldn't. Don't. Yes, show me you're strong, like me. I was. Well, she is. What? Who I was a moment ago is no more. Now, I can become someone else. I know. Henceforth, I shall be Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer. But Captain Baines isn't a girl. Steady your tongue, Quartermaster. I can be whoever I choose to be. If your little mind says otherwise, then to the depths with it.
my brother. He was always there, following in my footsteps, silent, smiling sadly, like a warm shadow, always there, but never really present. Sometimes, when darkness fell across town, we'd sneak out of the house. He'd look up into the night sky, watching the stars, but never really seeing them. What he really saw was a thousand souls on fire. His eyes would light up. The stars were already there. At that moment, I knew he had it in him to make a thousand hearts bleed, a thousand heads turn, a thousand eyes weep. My brother, the silent dreamer, dreaming that a day would come when we could leave it all behind. The journey of a lifetime a light on the horizon, a flame to call his own. Yes, he had it in him to make a thousand souls burn, make them feel alive, make them live forever, a thousand lives. But never mind. Never mind. There we were, dreaming ourselves away into the night sky. When we could almost reach out and take it, a cruel cool shade eclipsed the sun. Our dream was gone. Something else took its place. Something vicious. Something... No. What will the Black Wanderer do now? Don't worry. One day we'll get to see how it ends. happens what if I can't find you shh listen to my voice hold it deep inside and I will always be there for you forever forever
out of it, Lily. Why, why can't you just, just leave us alone? You filled the boy's head with nonsense. As if it wasn't useless enough. You're, you're the one who's useless, you cruel, one-eyed freak. What did you call Get me? Get away from him, you, you monster.
father. It's today. I know. I'm going to see her. Take care of the house while I'm gone. Did you get anything for James? It's his day too. I... I had to buy something for your mother. That's all I could afford. You're just like him. No, Mr. Hardy. It's only just beginning. My spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel. I came back. After a decade of glory and shame, I came back. I don't know how the fuck they knew I did, but I don't care. I will get my son back, or I will hurt them. I can write without her. I know I can. And this is, this must be the thing that hurts her, destroys her. Light symbolism, electric fire. Warmth, destruction, safety, key for... Hush. We will survive this. I'll take care of you. Both of you. Mama. What? How? It's been a while, so just wanted to check on you. I... I'm glad you're writing again. You are? Of course. I know you. It's always been the most important thing in your life. That's... I should probably leave you to it. It's been great hearing from you. Wait, don't... Bye.
corner's in shock. You think yourself an artist? Fun breaking his bones and kicking him, watching him spit blood. You're mine. You have nothing to say. No characters, no talent! All your words are empty. Underneath there is only your ego. I made you. Never be safe. You gave your word. You will keep it. We'll finish it. Last exhibit. Recreation of exhibit opening with piano. At home. Aruborus. After all these years, they still listen to you. A disturbing occurrence happened during a public reading, and the author acted strange from the start, but what happened after a particular reader's question? I have to finish it. Now they knew where they came from. Now they could scream themselves free. One glow. 
glorious act. And then, a vast silence. Lily, Captain, I found it. But it's empty. It's all gone. Steady yourself, Quartermaster. Return to the hideout. I'll keep searching on my own. I can help. I... I said go. You and them. Both have no future without me. For her, where she was for you. Some parts are not to be played. Some parts. What do they seek? What do you seek? Yourself? Themselves? Why? There is only me.
Why am I always the one? Why weren't you there? Why didn't you protect me? Why did you let this monster? will fade.
did you let this monster? We were meant to live forever. And I will. I will be forever. I will be. I will! Lily, please come back. I need you. <laughs> oh, he hello? My, my name is James. What's yours?
that's a funny name. Can you help me find my sister? She's been gone a long time. I'm scared something happened to her. I... I... Right, it is my fault. Yes, I can still save her. She can live on forever. Show me the way or do what needs to be done. I'm the captain now. Us, oh, Captain, we will follow you across the seven seas.
forever. to me. She lied to me. She lied to me. What if I can't find you? Shh. Listen to my voice. Hold it deep inside, and I will always be there for you. Forever? Now they knew why they feared freedom, why they hid, flowed with the tide, and pretended to be one with the void inside them. Now in place of the void, there was a sea, restless, roaring, terrifying. Once they saw it, once they lit a flame in their soul, there was no turning back, no other way. Again, they felt the eyes of eternity upon them. They were here before. They faced that choice in the past. They felt the stare. Now, for the first time, they stared back.
Do you see now? You tried to fix me. Instead, you broke yourself. Timmy, 
Poor, weak, pathetic little Jimmy. Always the victim. Always the burden. An anchor dragging me down. Sometimes, it's better not to be, to burn away completely. There's no place for me here. Only you, whoever that is. I hope you'll be brave this time. I don't think I can. I cannot. You, you cannot help me. Not anymore.
many times have I tried to put the pieces back together just to watch them fall apart? destroy the other. There's no other way. You act on instinct. You see, you react. It's so easy to pull your strengths. You're not afraid to play your part. You accept the inevitable. You struggle against the current. You fight against all odds. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only... James! Lily! Ah! James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you! I will...
And so, here we are again. How many times has it come? <laughs> you don't know, do you? How would you? You don't even know what you are. An artist giving an unfocused performance. A creature trapped in a prison of its own making. can't have it. Because you are not ready. Because you have not earned it. When you do, I'll be waiting. Until then. Have I offended you, James? No, I just... You just don't want to talk to me anymore? I... I don't know what I want. They say that the game's trying for... You have... Game's trying for... <laughs> Star. He has... really can come to. Are dreams what's really important to you? Mm-hmm. Your dreams can stay with you. Forever. Forever is a very long time, James. You think you can take it? I... One dreams of forever. But when the eyes of eternity are upon him, how far can he go? How deep can he descend? Once a flame has been lit, there's no other way. Yes. Too soon to let go. Too late to turn back. You're a brave lad, James. I hope you will find what you're looking for. than you think.
always believed that words have the power to set free. And you were right. I think you should stay here. No, 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 no. Focus on your writing. 